Hello to the Nation of Lanterns, I think you guys a little bit about the new WWDC that was just released today or talked about and hosted by Apple. Basically, this is the Worldwide Developers Conference where they talk about a few things like the OS X line, the new uh, operating system for the Mac uh, computer and uh, it, from what I've seen it really looks interesting with the new multi-touch capabilities and whatnot. It looks interesting and uh, you, it, really useful for me as a PC user but because I'm a PC user I can't really talk about how useful it is because I don't have a Mac and I can't really talk about how uh, efficient this would, these uh, features would work out as on a Mac computer. And I really just want to say right now it's, this is going to be an unedited video so sorry about that if uh, this is going to be running on for a long period of time but just I want to get this up as quickly as possible just to talk to you guys. Uh, there will be a link in the description with all the pictures that will go along with this. Um, basically for you guys, uh, the new iOS is the fifth iteration of the iOS, it's iOS 5, and basically there was a lot updated, and I personally think that the iOS 5 update is bigger than the iOS 4 update. Even though the iOS 4 update brought multitasking and wallpaper background, something people have been wanting for years, this brought really neat things. It wasn't anything new. It wasn't anything that wasn't already available on the iPod or iPhone or iPad, but it brought stuff that just made everything work better. Uh, there was already, most of the stuff there was already an application for, like iMessenger. It's a new messaging thing that's going to be basically the replacement. Uh, it's going to basically be BBM for the iPhone, and it's going to work across iPhone, iPod, and iPad. So basically, it's what FaceTime was last year, but it's going to be text messaging, video messaging, and picture messaging. Uh, and I guess sound messaging, if... Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> but uh, basically, it was all just upgrading stuff so that the whole iOS works better together, there's more features into it, and it just works better. Like, I'm sure Text Plus, you can text people just like iMessenger works, but uh, the way it works with the iOS and because Apple just reserves certain APIs for themselves so that their applications both work better and people can't take advantage of the uh, uh, springboard and whatnot and kind of turn it into a jailbroken iPod by reserving APIs for themselves uh, in that respect. Uh, it's just going to work better, and I believe these applications are going to make the iOS run a lot smoother and work a lot better than other third-party applications would. So bef so I might be getting off on a tangent here, but I'm just going to talk about uh, basically the what they did is they talked about how iOS 5 is going has over 200 more uh, user-based features. It has 200 more, over 200 more features that the user can actually do. And um, they were breaking it down to 10 main ones. And I'm just going to talk about a few of those 10 and uh, really what, what they're all about, how interesting they'll be, and really what I want to see out of this iOS. So, before I go into it, I'm going to say, again, this is going to be an edited video, and I also want to uh, just quickly go over the fact that these features, some of them aren't new at all. Some of them, I'm sorry guys, I'm just looking at my dog over here. Some of them aren't new at all. Some of them, mean, you could do this for like years now if you had a jailbroken iPod. And this is nothing new for Apple. Apple just, <coughs> uh, for lots of their features when uh, iOS rolls around, they just basically copy what jailbreakers do because it just increases their profit by twofold because not only do, do they know that hey if people that jailbreak like this I guarantee you people that are unjailbroken like would like this and on the flip side if people are debating whether they should jailbreak or not if we give them these features they might not that this might be the thing that keeps them on the fence having this messaging ability having this uh, better notification system having this better tweet ability um, which really works out for them, I guess, in the long run. Multitasking and uh, wallpaper were a big thing, and I bet that changed a lot of people from uh, jailbreaking. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be talking about this before I get too far into the video and uh, I keep, just waste time for you guys. So basically, one of the main features in this is the up uh, is the notification update. So basically, before what would happen is when you're using your i device, uh, basically. Uh, if you were in any application, regardless of what it was, it would open up this notification saying, hey, so-and-so poked you on Facebook, or so-and-so messaged you on Facebook, or so-and-so texted you, or so-and-so beat your score on this game, uh, depending on if you let, and, and, uh, and if depending on you let an application give you push notifications, that would pop up as well saying, hey, this app, update, uh, this app has an update, do you want to update it, blah, blah, blah which could be really obtrusive. They were they were known as obtrusive updates, basically. And that was annoying to a lot of people, because if you didn't want to go to that application, say you're in the middle of a game and you want to beat the highest score, uh, and you 
said close, there was no way for it to remind, it wouldn't remind you again of that text message, so you could easily just forget about it and it would slip your mind and then that person would be mad at you or say you have a new message, uh, that person would be mad at you or maybe it's something really important and you would hate yourself for it or something like that because you forgot it. And basically what they've done now is they've made it so when you're in a, when you're in a game it'll pop up in the bottom and it'll slide down from the top and take up about 10% of the screen and just say, who it is, what it is, and uh, a little bit about it. So it'll be like, there's a Facebook post from Mike Newman or something like that. Uh, and then it'll say maybe a couple words of the Facebook post, same thing for a text. Uh, if somebody leaves you, uh, I don't know, something, some sort of voice memo or voice message, it'll probably say that too. Say it's an app uh, giving you a little push notification, probably say something about that too. Um, and basically there's new now an application which when you tap on that it'll bring you to and uh, you can see all your notifications from there and then uh, as well as that from your lock screen you can uh, see all your notifications now which is a really revolutionary thing uh, at least for the iPhone uh, it really looks like an Android though and they've even said that it looks like an Android but I guarantee you guys it will work more seamlessly than any Android possibly could uh, just the way that they developed it specifically for these eye devices it'll work a lot better at least I believe um, other than that, but I just want to say right now, this isn't new either. They've had this, uh, probably six months now, they've had this new, uh, notification system that you could download from the jail, uh, from the Cydia store when you jailbreak, and it works good, and from what I hear, there's been rumors that they've actually hired the guy that made this, uh, tweak for the, for jailbreakers. They've actually hired him into Apple, and he's the guy that made it. I think there's something about, I heard a rumor or something about that. Um, the next the big thing that I think lots of you guys might like, if you guys are big Twitter people, um, basically they've made a Twitter uh, segment for the iOS. I'm not going to call it a, a part of the iOS, but it's an add-on, if you will, because uh, basically what this is, you swipe your finger down from the top right corner after you give uh, it your Twitter information, your Twitter account, you sign in. Um, basically what uh, will happen, it'll slide down a whole screen and a uh, little piece of message or whatever, how you would post on Facebook or something like that. That's basically what it looks like from anywhere. You can do this from your home screen or uh, in an app, I believe. And you slide it down, you can post right there, and then click post, it'll close up, and then you can do whatever you want from there. Uh, and this is really neat for a lot of people that like to do uh, Twitter and aren't jailbroken because, yet again, this was in the App Store, or sorry, not the App Store, this is, it has been in Cydia for over a year now, and um, I'm not saying it's a bad thing they've added it to, but they could have at least added something because literally it is exactly the same. There's no difference between QTweeter, you can guys, if you're jailbroken, can go get it right now instead of waiting for iOS to come out. You guys can go get it right now. It is literally the exact same thing. The only difference is that the menu is different. You go through settings, go into, uh, whatever they're going to call it, uh, the twit, tweeter ability, the twit ability. Uh, it's literally the same thing. I wish they would have added something to it that would have made it kind of their own, maybe added a little feature to it, been a little bit creative, but I guess they didn't. Um, other than that, they've added something, uh, some stuff like Newsstand. Basically what Newsstand does is it downloads your... Uh, it's basically like what was happening before with the iPads, how it would automatically download all your news and stuff like that. This Now it'll download it automatically and it'll give you notifications using the new notification feature when it comes out and when it's fully downloaded and ready for you to read. Uh, other than that, there's this uh, new... Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, checklist uh, ability, or application, basically, with this. Um, across all your iDevices, say you have an iPad and an iPhone, and your wife or significant other tells you to pick up milk and something or the other when you're walking home or coming home from work or say uh, you want to remember that you should make a YouTube video about the new WWDC or you want to remember to watch the WWDC you could make a uh, checklist which is basically looking like a postage note if you guys have a uh, post note uh, basically if you guys have uh, Windows 7 sorry about that basically if you guys have Windows 7 and you have um, yeah, <laughs> sorry as I'm repeating myself. If you guys have a Windows 7, you can uh, you have this note, uh, this application called Sticky Note, and it's basically the same thing. It's just a little postage note that you can open up, type in whatever you want it to, what time you want it to remind you to do that, 
Uh, if you do want, it reminds you to do that, and then it'll give you a pop, not the pop-up notification, it'll give you, via the new notification system, uh, the notification saying, hey, this is a time to do this, and then there you go. Um, really neat. It's, it's it, the, <laughs> I'm not going to say it's a really new idea, because I'm sure there's hundreds of apps right, right now that'll do the exact same thing, but the way this is going to work with the iOS, I believe, will be a lot better. Um, other than that, they have stuff like uh, the new camera abilities. Now, just like I, 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 I'm kicking a dead horse right now, um, but basically, uh, they made the new camera ability so you can now uh, take pictures with uh, the volume up button, as well as from the lock screen. There's a camera button where instead of slide to unlock, find the camera app, open it up. There's a camera button right there where you tap that, and then the camera application opens up straight from there. Uh, should be really speedy with the uh, iPhone 4 at least. And then from there you can use the volume up button to take a picture. And don't worry guys, if you have a passcode on your iPhone or iPod, uh, it, you won't be able to just bypass that. You won't be able to see any of the images without using the password first. And you, uh, from there you can't go to the home screen or anywhere but the uh, camera application without having typed in that passcode. But really that's the main new parts that have to do with iOS. Uh, there isn't really too much else uh, that I can really say about it. Uh, there is some more features, but you guys can read that all down in the link. I'm not going to be talking about that. Um, I want to get this video as up as soon as possible, just tell you guys about it and share uh, if you guys have an iPod but aren't really have your ear to the ground about these things. Hopefully, I'm, I'm really hoping we see a new iPhone soon because I want to get.